game objects are one of the most integral pieces of designing an MMO world, and yet, most of them are individually overlooked as players traverse the environment. In Classic WoW, a game object is pretty much anything that is overlaid on top of the base terrain to give it more depth or detail, such as a tree, a building, or a rock. While most of these are fairly unassuming and minor on their own, taking the time to stop and examine them really helps you appreciate the game in a whole new way. Today, I want to present a tale of some of these assets, really just files on your computer, that when viewed through the correct lens can really reveal the deep history of the world of Warcraft. As always, thank you for your fun comments and support, and with all that being said, let's get right into it. The Red Ridge Mountains are one of the most memorable zones in all of Classic WoW, a region of iron hills, forests, and valleys featuring some of the best questing in all the human lands. From the ruined castle of Stonewatch to the Tower of Ilgalar and the majestic Lake Everstill, the many adventures of this zone take place amidst the constant backdrop of rust-red slopes and rocky outcrops. Some of these red rocks really stand out. In the south and west of the zone, massive monoliths of stone jut out from the hills, really contributing to the rustic landscape. You can even find these pieces at the bottom of Lake Everstill. In the game files, these assets are even called Red Ridge Rock 1, 2, and 3, making them pretty much unique to this zone. You might notice that these game objects, despite their coloration, seem relatively out of place, their unnatural angles and placements warranting some sort of explanation. To get to the bottom of this question, we have to look at the true, original scope of this land. Centuries ago, the Red Ridge Mountains extended much farther north, into the wastes, now known as the Burning Steppes, and possibly beyond. Let's take a look at the historical account of this decimation, and then see what the game's own geology has to say about it. Over 250 years ago, at the conclusion of the Dwarven Civil War, known as the War of the Three Hammers, the Dark Iron Clan was growing desperate. Having lost control of Ironforge and failing to conquer the sister city of Grim Batol, the Dark Irons were pushed back into northern Red Ridge, home to their capital city, Thorasan. In a reckless gambit, Sorcerer Thane Thorason himself breached the elemental plane of fire, summoning Ragnaros the Fire Lord to Azeroth for the first time in countless years. The resulting rift created an explosion that transformed the surroundings dramatically, creating a volcano in the nearby mountain range that would later become the fortress city of Blackrock Mountain. The debris and lava flows from this disaster destroyed the old heart of Dark Iron civilization and blanketed the surroundings in ash morphing a large part of the Red Ridge Mountains into the regions of the Burning Steppes and the Searing Gorge. Centuries later, the Dark Irons have adapted to this volcanic environment, crafting new strongholds far from any semblance of the natural order. This reconstruction is also evident in the strange, vault-like spouts that can be found around these zones, likely installed by the Dark Irons to regulate or reroute lava flows. Despite this change, there is still evidence we can find in-game that points to the more verdant past of these areas. Let's begin with the Burning Steps, where smoldering trees and ruined stumps are still found throughout the zone. With the remainder of Red Ridge so close by, it's not hard to imagine how this area could have once looked. Perhaps even the tower at Morgan's Vigil once stood tall over this territory in the Golden Age of Stormwind, another protective outpost on the way to Ironforge and beyond. The Searing Gorge is a different story. The ruined trees here are more similar to the pine trees seen in Dunmoreau and Loch Medan, but there's also a hint that this zone could have once been similar to Red Ridge in the past. The rare few players willing to undertake the Sweet Amber quest in Westfall would venture into this zone in the final step of the chain, collecting a piece of wood from what is known as the Charred Oak. With its higher elevation though, combined with the frigid tree line we can see ascending toward Dunmoreau in the north, it's possible this valley was once an intermediary between the lands of Stormwind and the mountains of Cosmodan. We've seen how the two wasteland zones were affected by the rise of Ragnaros, but I believe there's also evidence that the area we know today as Red Ridge was also impacted. Literally. Let's return to those mysterious rocks from earlier. I believe those are remnants of northern Red Ridge that originated near what is now Black Rock Mountain, ejecta from the volcano that ended up here in the human lands. While it's certainly up to interpretation, I think this idea has some weight. 
especially considering the positions of these rocks. There are many of them that line up on a trajectory towards the mountain, and it's almost enough for me to believe the devs fully intended for this to be the true story of these iconic ridges. Next time you head into this iconic zone, maybe you'll see parts of it in a whole new way, remnants of a volcanic history that happened long ago. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force be with you.